Sarah from Average Betty here and I'm making hash brown burgers. By substituting the bun with crispy golden hash browns, you get meat and potatoes in every bite. Which also means no more wasted energy reaching for fries. Let's make hash brown burgers. I've got an Idaho russet potato here. Russets are great for hash browns because of their higher starch content. Here's my potato grater that moonlights as a cheese grater. You want to work quickly, but carefully. This is just a saucer about the size I want the buns to be. It's best if you don't rinse the grated potato. That natural starch is all you need to hold these hash brown buns together. But that's also why you want to work quickly. Unrinsed shreds start to brown up super fast. Slide that on in, again carefully. You're working with hot splattery oil. Like regular hash browns, you want hash brown buns to be crispy and golden on the outside and soft and fluffy on the inside. Hash brown buns do need to be a little more heavy duty. You want to be able to manhandle them after all. So when they're nice and golden, get them out of the pan and onto a baking sheet. Pop them into your oven to crisp them up even more. Now for the burger and the egg. According to the internet, a sunny side up egg seems mandatory on hash brown burgers. Bacon, of course bacon. Some recipes called for sausage too, but come on. I feel the need, the need for cheese. <laughs> Hash brown burger bottom bun, fry sauce, or you know, my knockoff excuse for fry sauce. I know how serious some of you are about your fry sauce. Cheeseburger. This is a caramelized onion and bacon jam, lovey. I like hash brown buns and I cannot lie. You other burgers can't deny. Get the hash brown burger recipe at averagebetty.com. So next time you wanna take your burger to the next level, to multiple levels really, I hope you'll give the hash brown burger a try. Thanks for watching and subscribing. See you next time.